Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, this is case number 14 in abdominal radiology. Today our patient is two and a half year old patient presented with abdominal distension and vomiting for one month duration. He has progressively increasing symptoms. So this is the anterior posterior radiograph of the abdomen in this stated immature patient. Actually, this is a supine x-ray. So when you see closely, you can see displacement of the transverse colon here. It is displaced inferiorly. It is not the normal position. So it is inferior displacement there. And you can see a opacity ill-defined opacity in the epigastric umbilical and left hypochondriac region so it's a homogeneous opacity and you can see some looseness on the right side so this is probably the displaced stomach due to this mass you can see gastric yeah, bubble is displaced to the right side and compression of the stomach so all the bowel loops are displaced inferiorly probably there is a mass in the left upper abdomen and uh, however rectally I seen so there is no bowel obstruction no intramural gas no free gas or no pneumoperitoneum no porta venous gas and you have to see the bones to find out metastasis so there are no lytic or sclerotic lesions in the visualized bones hips are normal and no spina bifida vertebral column appears normal and also you don't see high density areas within to suggest calcifications so there is a left upper abdominal mass left of abdominal mass left of abdominal mass there are however no calcifications in the x-ray however in this case the diagnosis is neuroblastoma neuroblastoma is the diagnosis so differential diagnosis uh, you have to think of when there is a mass in the upper abdomen right or left one is Wilms tumor Wilms tumor Nephrid. that's the renal neoplasm in children and uh, hepatoblastoma those are hepatoblastoma and also lymphoma those can occur in children and any sarcoma so like uh, liposarcoma liposarcoma and dermoids can also there dermoid or teratoma teratoma those are common differential diagnosis in children when there's mass especially in the upper abdomen so you have to look for the calcifications usually in neuroblastoma you can see 30 percent calcification in x-ray but once you do ct there's about 80 to 90 percent calcifications and Wim's tumor there's about uh, 10 percent calcifications and the uh, neuroblastoma occurs mainly in the suprarenal glands and it can occur in the sympathetic chain organ of sugar candle pelvis then the posterior mediastinum they are the common sites for neuroblastoma and it's an aggressive tumor and uh, sometimes it is bilateral and uh, so you have to differentiate neuroblastoma from Williams tumor Williams tumor occur in the kidney neuroblastoma occur in the suprarenal glands so next investigation is contrast and CT abdomen and chest just you do to see the mets and uh, and also need to see the bone metastasis 
so that concludes case number 14 in abdominal radiology please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this